For part B, we're going to need to change the way this one looks as well. We can't integrate this the way it looks at the moment. We can only integrate a term at a time. So we're going to need to separate these two fractions out. So we're going to rewrite the first one as 6x to the 4 over x squared. And we're going to write the second one as 4 over x squared. But they're still not ready to be integrated. We're going to need to cancel these x squareds down. So we're going to get 6x squared. And we're going to rewrite this in index form as well. So that's going to be 4x to the negative 2. So that is now ready to be integrated. Same as before, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power if we're uh, integrating a polynomial. Again, I'll tidy it up in a minute. Add 1 to the power here is going to give us x to the minus 1, dividing by minus 1. I'll simplify in a second. And don't forget your constant of integration for this one. We didn't need it for part A because we were putting limits in, so the c's would have cancelled, but we do need it in this case. So this is going to become 2x cubed minus 4x to the minus 1 plus c. Or if we get rid of the, in, uh, the index notation, which I think looks better, we would write 4 over x plus c.